Hey folks, Shane Y here. Uh, some more things were brought to my attention, but you know, I've been trying to pass a message to a couple individuals. They don't get it. Probably never will. So I'm just gonna say from my personal experience is what happened over the years. Cause then maybe they might finally get it. Uh probably about seven years ago. I was a really miserable son of a bitch, very jaded, very negative about everything. All I kept doing all the time was just bitching about anything. Every time somebody would call a bitch, piss moan, just alienated people. And then like, and then on f things like Facebook, I had a lot of friends and family delete me over the time because you know what? I kept putting posts all the time, almost all day long. But, oh, life sucks, my life sucks, nothing's going right. I mean, some of the things were warranted. I was working a mall security job, and I had a lot of issues with the job. But the more I kept being negative about it, the more I showed people frustration, the more people ate up on it. I mean, they're, well, I mean, first off, more of some of my family and friends are just sick of it. They're just like, Shane, seriously, come on, man. Stop being an asshole all the time. Stop being, like... And then, like, people try to reach out and just try to bring up things to me. And it's just like, no, I'm just, nope, nope. Oh, uh, well, no, well, this, this, and that. Well, well, and I had an excuse for everything. Or, and what was me all the time? And you know what? It was just negativity breathed negativity. And it took me a long time to realize that. I've been trying to preach that message with a few different people. Especially, like, the mog job, like, there were some punks I'd have to deal with all the time on an ongoing basis. The more I showed them my frustration, the more I showed them that they were pissing me off, the more, like, all this, like, things along that nature, guess what? The more they kept fucking with me, the more they kept showing up to the mall when they were banned, just to specifically screw with me because they knew they were going to get a reaction out of me each and every fucking time. No different than former friends that I used to be, like, that would just... Because they're so negative, they hated their lives so much, they had to make sure my life was hell. And the more I showed them that they were letting me get, they were getting to me, the more they kept on. On and on and on. Um, you know, and I just got to the point, like, my family and friends were just so tired of just seeing me bitch, piss, and moan on shit like Facebook or them in person that they either deleted me from Facebook or they just wouldn't talk to me for a while or respond to text or none of that it really took me a long time to realize that hey you know what the more negative and miserable and the reactions i showed the more is just going to keep adding and building and building and building um like in fact i even left my city um and it really was just like a wake-up call that you know what if you're going to be you, you could blame where you're from all you want but if you're going to be miserable, you're going to be miserable everywhere. I was miserable when I was in Ontario, and now it's when I wake the wake-up call when I've had newfound friends kind of say, you know what, you're negative all the time. These were brand new people, people that like just barely knew me for a few months. So, you know, it was just a wake-up call. Eventually, I just try to just let – you had to. I know it's hard to let shit slide sometimes, but you just have to. You can't let things build up. I mean, yeah, I know people need to vent. People need to get rid of frustrations, but there's just, you got to approach different ways to do it. Or if you need to vent to somebody someday, you don't do it every day, all day long. Like you just talk to a person one day, just say, Hey, you know what? This is what I'm going through and yada, yada, yada. No, my fucking life sucks. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, oh, what am I going to do? Oh, life's hell here. And you know what? It's just People, people get tired of the same old song and dance. People get tired of being a broken record. You know what? I'm actually now being tired of being a broken record, trying to spread similar messages to a few different people last little while. Like, just... There's only so much I could say to somebody. I say it so many times. It's just like, you know why? I just... I can't do it anymore. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. I just can't do it. No different than my friend who calls me a few days ago. When I just literally found out some shitty news about my family, three minutes prior to him calling, I tell him on the phone, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm not doing well. Just found this out. He was more worried and concerned about him being bored and oh, what's he going to do tonight than he was at the fact like, I don't want to be like, I'm, I need 
time to digest things. I just got home from golfing and I'm finding out some fucking shitty news. So, you know, and it's the, this guy, again, I've been friends with for 12 years. He's doing the same shit over and over again. And then, and then it's like, fuck, and there's only so much I could say to him over and over again. Like, dude, like, this is not healthy. This is not good. You're really putting a strain on our friendship because you're trying to make me feel guilty at the worst possible times. Um, so, you know, it's just... This guy needs to, like, my, my personal friend needs to kind of realize that. And I've tried to tell him that. But he keeps wondering why he goes through girlfriends all the time and all this stuff like that. It's like, well, you know what? You're negative all the time. And I try to tell him that. Or you're self-centered. You're selfish. And it's, I don't know. And it's just like some of these YouTubers. I've gone over it and I've explained it. And I've gone black and blue. Like, people stressing about other YouTubers and their relationships with other people. Or people are worried about... Oh, trolls in freaking all it's like only control only worry about what you can control only worry about like around you don't you can't make people hate other people because of you you can't some people are going to be friends some are going to be enemies in the same social circle that's just the way it is you might have strong feelings this person and that person might have strong feelings about you then you might have a disagreement maybe both sides are right but because You've had bad experiences with these people. Doesn't mean that I should have to have bad experiences with them. Unless they screw me and stab me in the back. But I mean, you know, it's just... Some people just don't get it. They'll never get it. And they... Like, people see... Will call out other people for being self-centered and selfish and narcissistic. And it's like, well, you know what, man? When you point fingers, you got three fingers pointing right back at you. Just always remember that. You know... And you know, and I can't really preach. I've like I know in the last few weeks I've had the battles with people like I'm you know, I'm not even gonna get into that person. I've had a few battles in the last while, but you know what? There was one real bad troll that was trolling my channel for a while. When I would react to him, he'd keep trolling me. You know what? I stopped reacting to him. They left me alone. But then they kind of popped up again lately. You know what? I'm not even looking at their comments now. I put them straight to delete or fucking report them. Simple as that. Um just like no different than a certain cast member I've had a disagreement or certain cast member that, you know, it's become a professional troll in his own right. And you know what? I don't even bother with that person anymore. I don't even pay attention to them. I don't care less about them anymore. If they want to try, they continue to play games. That's their energy. That's their focus. That's their negativity. I rather just focused on things that are going to make me feel better not dwell on the negatives and I, you know what people can't understand that it's just you know, i know it's tough some people go through different things health things family things mental issues and stuff but you know it's if you're not willing to help yourself or get help then it's just like, you know what, people just eventually give up. Just like kind of like my grandmother now from my mom's side. It's just like, she kind of brought a lot of things on herself now. Especially expecting everybody, the world to drop for her when she should be still in medical hospital care. But you know what, she's starting to learn the hard way. She's starting to learn the hard way that people kind of got tired or getting tired of her games and their self-centeredness and their selfishness and their negativity. Because all, 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 all we hear from her is how much her life sucks. And, oh, poor Lou is me. And things aren't going right. Or this friend's screwing me. Or this relative's screwing me over. And it's... Because then, you know what? A lot of times, too, then the person just sounds like a paranoia person. That just... They, they've they created a lot of the mess themselves. And now they're on damage control. So, you know what? Like I said, I, I can't help it. I can't help the entire world. I figured you know what i got to share my experiences especially with a few people that really seem to have got upset in the last while because you know what i've done all i could over the last while to ex explain things tell you things and explain about if you keep focusing on certain things it's just bad stuff's going to continue to happen but you know what it's just it just gets to the point where it can only sound like a broken record for so long and it's just becoming a lost battle and Especially what's going on in my life, I just don't have any more times to be like I've got to focus on my health first before I could help the world out. So, anyways, folks, 
Love you all. Good night and goodbye. Bang.